Alright folks, welcome back. Now it's time for another wish from a number of our famous celebrities. This one used to host The Price is Right, as well as the Miss Universe pageant from the 50s up until 1987, and really from the truthful consequences in the 50s. He's been a game show host for 50 plus years, and he's here with us for the next wish for John Emperor. So please welcome game show legend host of all time, Bob Parker! Thank you, Brandon, for that wonderful welcome. I thank you. Alright, so, what is your wish for John Emperor, Bob? Well, I would like to thank the John Emperor and his fans and subscribers for the past 25 years. And I know he's been watching my show all the time when I was the host. And I'm pretty sure... He's going to join the family showcase of wonderful child racing here in Philadelphia today. So happy birthday, child emperor. And remember, have your pet spayed or neutered. Thanks, Rob. That is a wonderful thought for our pets to spay or neutered. And now, Bob, let's head back for more child racing entertainment. Okay, and Bob, you be sure to watch this one as well, okay? Alright, race number three will feature Luke Green. Kennedy Days with the Days Plus, the AC Gamma Tile Folks, and Edvon Kingston, the Harshing Master, who has the first superstar to win three superstar on the week honors this season, and he's going for another win this week. Everyone's on the clock, and we start the race! Here we go! So, Edvon Kingston is off to a pretty good start. I have his opponents right now. Right out of the floor, John is going to make their way towards the boundaries. <coughs> they're going to shake the coconut shake fruit. And now they're going to eat fruit. And it looks like Efron Kingsley is dancing to the beat. And Tyler Fultz is going to rest. That means it's Luke Green and Kenny Davis who have the privilege to battle for the lead up in the front. All over numbers 2 and 7. As the first superstar gets beat, this is number 8. Who's trying to lead the other competitors in the dust? And right now it is number one and Tyler Fultz who are getting left behind the competition. And number seven and eight are Bone Gurness. So these two are going to join number one and Tyler Fultz for D Life all the way in the back. As number eight, who leads Tyler Fultz and numbers one and seven in the dust, opens this one up with back to back speed us. And currently in the lead it is Luke Green who dominates over F5 Kingsley at the current one heading into the top hill. As number seven, who leads the yellow child in the dust, takes the next command SPS. He is trying to lead numbers one and two and Tyler Force in the dust. Numbers one and two and Tyler Force all will really need his help to get back in this one. And number seven pauses for one. As number one, well the next command SPS. Now trying to lead the others in the dust. Meanwhile, FI Kings we're starting to catch up. Uh-oh! F on Kings is trying to get some revenge from Luke Green! We'll soon know in the only one. Next Spears belongs to number seven. That makes it second Spears versus the race. Core number two is getting left behind in the competition. But look at this. Kenny Days is going to rest. So he's going to make the pass for, num for, num for Kenny Days for two and one way back. Right now it is number one who will get his second Spears race. After number eight took back to back Spears, number seven and one. All today's Spears are the come on. And back with fun. Evan Kingsley and Luke Green are both going rest. That means Tyler Fultz will have the privilege of battling to for the lead up in the front. As he unexpectedly will have the next command of Spears. Now trying to make the pass from Evan Kingsley in the come on. Watch out Evan Kingsley. And number two is going to rest back in the back. So Kenny Ace will leave him in the dust for the second time in this race. As Tyler Fultz gets back to back Spears. But he will have enough distance to catch up to Evan Kingsley. Looks like Epoch Green is going to make the save over the AC Gamma Tire Force. He's going to put the final one this week after winning three superstar weeks in a row. Epoch Green wins this one over Tire Force. Wow, his comeback for Tire Force was just fall short. As Kenny Mays, well, the next game has Spears, and I don't think we we'll have time for one more Spears in this race. That should do it for this race. And that is indeed it. So, despite one last effort by Tyler Force back to back speeders, FR Kingsley improves to 5 and 1 in the come one. That's right, congratulations to FR Kingsley, and we'll have more song action after this. Thanks again, Bob. We'll see you later on in the show.